out party to say we walk tall in the world. They say they want a frank, deep and constructive exchange of ideas um, with the outside world. Of course, Chinese Communist Party typically not that open to ideas from the outside world, especially the international media. Let's go inside and see what dialogue actually means. Get a word, catch a word with any of the. Oh. Um, we are. I'm, I'm representing Kuwait. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I think we have to go. Okay. Okay. I think we're being uh, ejected from the delegate section. Stop. Um, I'm trying to. Disruptive technologies. So we are now roaming the halls in the first break because we, we stood by the wrong door. Ah, we never get a chance to talk to a standing committee member of the Chinese Communist Party Politburo. This is supposed to be a dialogue with the Communist Party. Top man in China, one of the top seven, is in this place somewhere, but he's given us the slip. So it's not even midday and they seem to be packing up the main hall. I don't quite understand. We're less than two hours into the entire event. Where is everybody? I just want to say hello. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no hello, I'm not allowed to say hello. Le hello do putting. I'm not allowed to talk to anybody. No hello. Within the party, yeah. with a quiet deliberations, which is a more effective uh, form of policy making, by the way. Why? Because policy making is is complicated, right? It's it's nuanced, and you need to sit down to really discuss uh, what measures can achieve what kind of results. You cannot resolve policies in a uh, public, uh, you know, shouting match, uh, which seems incre increasingly, you know, the case in a lot of countries. Mm -hmm.